Lake State at Kelly Short Stadium where the atmosphere for this college football game is incredible. And now let's head down to the coin toss. It is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. See how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. Down the sideline. Across midfield. Inside the 30. Touchdown, Chippewas. What a phenomenal effort. He did a great job of setting up his blocks and then used some great field sense to get into the open. Once that happened, there was no stopping him. And he tacks on the extra point. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? Three words say it all. Red River rivalry. Oklahoma and Texas. And for Oklahoma, in the waning moments, time a major enemy. They score to take the lead. Central Michigan is ready to kick it away. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Here's an opening. And they finally make the stop at the 50. An amazing run. This kid was moving. Man, no kidding. This guy can fly. He has some room. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Makes it to the 34. That's good for a game of 16 yards. First down. Caught. And they make the stop at about the 25-yard line. Hines on the tackle at the 25-yard line. That makes it second and two. Nice run there. They've obviously found a formula for moving the ball against this defense. Let's see if any adjustments are made before their backs are really against the wall. They can't connect. Incomplete. That's just a great play to separate the ball from the receiver. He'll be feeling that hit tomorrow. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 18-yard line. They 
go with a run, and he's tackled in the backfield for a loss. Did you see how that big defensive line got such a good push on that play? That's exactly why they were able to stop him for a loss. Complete. I think if he'd reached out a second later, the receiver would have caught the ball. That's perfect timing by the safety. Fourth down. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. Kicks up, and it's through the uprights. Akron to kick this one off. Smith from the one. He's to the 20. At the 30. He's knocked out of bounds. Right around the 36-yard line. Akron's really got things working right now for him. I can't think of a better start. Well, that's exactly the way they had hoped to see this game go. I mean, anytime you can start the game with a stop, get your offense out there, they move the ball down, put points on the board. Now it's just more about trying to maintain what they've already created. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Throws complete. He's got room to work. Good open field tackle. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Central Michigan is up by four. He fights forward to about the 46. Not much there for the halfback, but he picked up some tough yardage. Well, nothing fancy here. The back did a nice job of putting his head down and getting the first down. Tries to thread the needle and it's not going to work. There he goes, the 10, and he's all the way in for the touchdown. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he hits the PAT. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Smith fields at the goal line. And he's taken down at the 21-yard line. You've got to wonder right now which offense is going to open this thing up a little bit. I think the answer will be which offensive coordinator is willing to take a chance or two to try to open some plays up. Because right now, not only are they losing the battle up front, but they're really not testing the defense downfield at all. So the offense will come back out onto the field, hoping for a little better result than that last pick six. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. They're going no huddle here, so a good way to keep the defense from substituting. There's a strike complete, and he's tackled around the 28-yard line. Makes it third and three. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Slings it, and he's taken down at the 39-yard line. From their own 39-yard line. First down. Well, straight run, and he's brought down in the backfield. Well, the question now is, how will they respond after losing a couple on that run?
from their own 38-yard line. Second down. Quick pass. Tackle made at the 40-yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. Third down. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Tight end right. Tight end right. He's on the run. Complete. He's got room. He goes out of bounds. Around the 36-yard line. He's a big target that the quarterback can rely on. That's a smart play looking to him to get the first. Kurt, we saw this guy head to the locker room a little bit earlier. Good to see him back on the sideline, and it looks like he could be returning to the game. Nice run to the left there. Bailey gets six yards on the play. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. They completed it, but for a minimal gain. It's not much, but at least it's positive yards. That makes it third and three. They've looked good so far on third down in this drive. Let's see what happens here. Mike, Mike 51, Mike 51. bring him down at the 21. Personal foul, face mask, defense. Concentration lapse right there. Still the coaches down. will be giving them an earful for it too. From the 11 yard line. First down. And he makes it out to about the 8 yard line. Justice gains around 3 yards on the run. That makes it second and eight. This is the 11th play of this drive. Throwing the end zone touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A 10 play, 71 yard drive, and it's good for seven points. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven on seven drill to not see the ball touch the ground. This time they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback and the receiver. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Central Michigan's got people flying all over the field on defense right now. Boy, they sure do. Right now, we're just seeing great defensive effort. They have a plan. They understand it. They're playing with great speed, and they're not giving up big plays. That's why they're playing well up to this point. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change the game plan. And it's caught. 
He's taken down at about the 41. Not sure what the flag is about here. Let's go down to the field and find out. Clipping. Offense. Clipping is the call, and now they'll have to find a way to make up those yards right here. So the penalty will make it first and 15. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. He's tackled at about the 37-yard line. Hines makes the tackle at the 37-yard line. First down. Brought down at the eight yard line. Ward on the tackle at the eight yard line. That makes it first and goal. Great concentration to pull it in. Tackle around the one yard line. Gain of seven on the play. That brings up second and goal. Three down, three down. Let's go, let's go. Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. Well, if you like offense, you had to have loved that first quarter of play. 14 10, Chippewa. Set to resume action here in the second quarter, and we've got a tight ball game. They line up in the jumbo set. Touchdown, Zips! Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. And he adds the extra point. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. Wallace is lined up to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 10. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 22-yard line. All right, this has been a great game to watch. A lot of competitive spirit out there. The offenses seem to be going up and down the field. Back and forth we go. I think the winner will be which defense can make that pivotal stop to secure a victory. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He gets hit out of bounds at about the 47-yard line. Looking to capitalize on the big run. Now it's first and ten. And down he goes around the 35-yard line. Excellent open field tackle. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 21. Quick throw. Now it's first and goal as he's knocked out after a nice game. To maybe the seven yard line. 
Central Michigan will take their first time out of the half. We've got second and goal. Ball on the seven. Roger, Roger. Mike 51, Mike 51. Throws over the middle, touchdown. converts the extra point. Luke looks ready to kick this one off. He kicks a low line drive. Church fields it at the one. Gets out to about the 21. This is my kind of game. We're getting a chance to see so many touchdowns. I just wonder if this offense could continue the flow that we've seen from the previous three series. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Now he tries to buy some time. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Second and ten. Ball on the 21. He's level at the 29. That's a gain of eight on the play. Third down. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. That's good awareness to know where the marker was and to make sure he got it there. If they had a bad spot, that could have been turned into a fourth down. And they make the stop around the 46-yard line. Gain of 13 two times, yards. Two times. First down. Three down, three down. Might have been some early movement up front. False start. Offense. Once you're set, you've got to stay that way. The slightest flinch is going to be enough to draw the flag. So the penalty makes it first and 15. Up the middle for a nice game. Fraser gets about four yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. Throws complete. He's got space to work. And he's tackled at the 48-yard line. That's a game of seven on the play. That'll make it third and five. And he's taken down at the 37. the reception. Gain of 11 on the play. That makes it first and 10. Three down, three down. 97 to the mic, 97 to the mic. Jackson! Thunder! Caught. He's at the 20. And now he's got room to run for the 10. Touchdown, Akron. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. Akron holds just a two-point lead. He makes the PAT. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese. Time to check in on some action in the map. And for Western Michigan, they've now dropped three in a row. And for Franklin, he rushed for a touchdown. Kent State gets it done and wins it by 14. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. 
And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Central Michigan's gotten the play out of their quarterback, and you expect that that was going to happen, but... I mean, what is happening here? Somebody else is going to have to come to the forefront or this thing's going to be over. If you would have told me before the game that this quarterback would have played like this to the first quarter and a half or so, I would have thought this team would have been leading this game. But you're right. Something has got to happen where the, his teammates, the rest of this group, they've got to raise their game if they want to have any chance of winning this game. And he shoved out of bounds at the 48. First and ten. Ball on their own 48. Caught open field. Tackle made around the 43 yard line. That brings up second and one. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. 51 Mike. Mike's 51. Yeah. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. That's a game of game. It's first and ten. Ball on the 40. down in the backfield. I think anytime you lose yardage, it's frustrating as a ball carrier. It's very frustrating as a play caller. Makes you a little bit more hesitant maybe to go back to a certain play. The biggest thing you want to do as an offensive coordinator is get the offense over to the sideline after the series. Make sure everybody's on the same page and then show the confidence that you still have in them despite this play that you're going to go right back to the running back and trust that offensive line. They're eating up a lot of field on this drive. I'm really impressed with their ball control. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 24. Nice run there. Clark gets six yards on the carry. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Another run, and he's going to be brought down in the backfield. That is a loss of two yards. That'll bring up third and six. Third and six. Ball on the 20. Pressure coming. Throws right, intercepted. Parker makes the interception. And the quarterback just can't believe it. He really wishes he could have that one back. Every quarterback has passes that he wishes he could have back. However, hey, a pick is a pick, and no one is going to care how bad he wants that one back. From their own seven-yard line, first down. Akron has a three-point lead. He guns it. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back to pass. He's going left. The senior makes the catch. With the reception. That's a game of 19 on the play. 
First down. Man left, man left. Three down, three down. Mike, get the five. Right there, miss. Get the five. Yeah, yeah. Kill, 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 kill. And he throws it away. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 39. Here's a little draw play. They'll drop him for a loss. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. Cowan gets him about three yards with a completion. Fourth down. Central Michigan will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. Akron is up a field goal. He's tackled at the 25. Flag down, and I'm not sure when it was First thrown. Let's find out. Clipping. Receiving team. That's frustrating for a coach when you preach down. fundamentals every week and then have someone called for clipping. That penalty really is going to set them back. Hey, kill, they line kill, up kill. at the 12. Black First five, down. Black five, black five. He's going to try and scramble. Makes the catch and look out, out of bounds at about the 27-yard line. First down. Check, tight right, tight right, tight right. Pull up there, check down, it's up there. Pull down, pull down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. He's on the run. They'll make the sack. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. Scrambling around. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. From their own 23-yard line, third down. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five-wide set. Fires it out. He's taken down at the 42. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. They'll bring him down at about the 35. They come out in an empty backfield. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. Steps out of bounds at about the 23-yard line. From the 23 yard line. It's first down. Complete. He's got room. Brought down at the 15. Central Michigan's out of timeouts. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Man left, man left. Could they get another interception here? That's what they got last time this offense was in the red zone. Now he's going to run and watch out. Touchdown, Central Michigan.
What made this so impressive was first, his ability to see where the space was to run, and then the athletic ability to get it into the end zone. Central Michigan is up by three. And he tacks on the extra point. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. I guess he'll throw this one as far as he can and hope for a miracle. Incomplete. So we've played two quarters. Central Michigan in front, 28-24. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And he hits him hard at the 26-yard line. That's good for a gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. They get him in the backfield for a loss. From their own 24-yard line. Third down. Keeps his eye on it, makes the catch. And down he goes at the 29-yard line. That'll make it fourth and six. Harris awaits the snap. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. He goes out of bounds around the 40-yard line. This one might be coming back, folks. So let's check out the penalty. Clipping. Receiving team. That one will put the offense Still in a hole, down. and they'll try to get some of that back on this upcoming play. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 26-yard line. Central Michigan is up four. They'll knock him down for a loss. More plays like this, and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking schemes. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. Cut in there, cut in there. Four down, four down. Here I come. I'm coming after you. Now he tries to buy some time. He's got it with room to run. He gets hit out of bounds around the 49-yard line.
from the 49-yard line. First down. Tackle at the 35-yard line. know what this one's for let's find out holding offense little stumbles like these can Still kill your offensive progress first and long now after the penalty let's go defense get off the field defense Mike, you they'll line up with five wide receivers Make the stop around the 22 yard line. Central Michigan is up by four. And hammered right there. Call it a gain of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. From the 19 yard line. Second down. Get to that quickly. And he's tackled at the 12 yard line. Justice gains seven yards with a catch there. That'll bring up third and inches. A quarterback like in the gun with five receivers. He's tackled and denied. This whole drive has been an exhibition in ball control by this offense. Everything seems to be working right now. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Touchdown, Chippewas! What a spectacular run by the quarterback. That is such a weapon for your offense when you have a quarterback who can do things like that. The coach probably loves drawing up plays for this guy. He splits the uprights with the extra point. It was an eight-play, 72-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Central Michigan's coaches just got to be happy. I'd love to coach a kid like this. Oh, I think these coaches love to coach a guy like this. And another great performance by him individually and for this offense. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Gets it. He's in space. And he's taken down at the 32. Gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Oh, got time right, time right. Two down, two down. Two down. Hey, check right, check right. Come on. Check Weasel. 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 a great 
right tackle at the 38. I like it. They're not afraid to try this defense over the middle. The quarterback saw man coverage and gave his receiver a chance to make a play. They picked up the first down. I wouldn't be surprised to see them come back to that play. Zips it to the tight end. He's taken down around the 32-yard line. That's a gain of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. He's at the 20. Still perfect on the drive. And he will score. And he hits the PAT. A five-play, 75-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, how about the guys up front? The offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Zips have really surprised everybody in this football game. They have not been intimidated at all, which is great to see. The attitude and effort of this team has put them in a position where they got a shot to win this game here in the second half. Let's find out if the defense has made any adjustments after giving up a touchdown on that last drive. You can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. That makes it second and 14. Second down and 14. Ball on their own 21. Central Michigan holds a four-point lead. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. And he is drilled at the 31-yard line. yard line. I'm not sure if the back was his first option, but he got in the ball and he was able to make something big happen. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 39. it to the 42-yard line. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on the 42. the first down catch. They'll bring him down right around the 38-yard line. From the 38-yard line, first down. Central Michigan is up four. his way to the 30-yard line. That's three down and one to go. Central Michigan's up by four.
Well, this final few minutes is going to determine this one. Tight ball game. Action set to start here in the fourth quarter. He's at the 20. Gains his way to the 16-yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. The 10. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Touchdown, Central Michigan! And he adds the extra point. A nine-play, 74-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Boy, the two offensive coordinators have to be loving this. In fact, you can look over at our booth next to us and see how much they're enjoying it with the big smile on their face. The defensive coordinators, on the other hand, might be looking for a pink slip on Monday. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. He might not be able to get the pass off. Just throws this one away. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. Brought down at the 27-yard line. Frazier was the intended receiver on the play. That will bring up 38. And it's caught. Knocked out of bounds at the 40. Gain of 13 on the play. First down. Fires quickly and it's picked off. He's at the 40. Inside the 30. Touchdown! And he converts the extra point. Luke, ready to kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Let's see how the defense responds now, coming off that big play just a moment ago. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. Got a man, but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on the 22-yard line. Down he goes, around the 36-yard line. Gain of 14 on the play. That makes it first and 10.
Throws quickly, and it's almost intercepted. Boy, this is a great play by the safety to be able to be in a position to make this play, but he's got to be able to hold on to the football. You know, he's a big, physical, athletic guy, but you've got to be able to secure a football and make a big play when it presents itself. From their own 36-yard line, second down. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Him hard at the 42 yard line. A flag came out after the ball was thrown. Personal Let's foul, see what this is. Roughing the passer defense. In a game. Football. If you down. keep giving away opportunities like this, I guarantee you they'll come back to haunt you sooner rather than later. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43-yard line. He's flushed and they got it. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. Man left, man left. concentration to pull it in tackle at the 39 what impresses me so much is the guy's vision he read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage he's under pressure he gets rid of this one. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. He's at the 30, makes the catch, and gets out of bounds. Gain of 10 on the play. First down. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll have a chance to take a second look at it and determine if he really was in bounds when he caught the ball. Well, the side judge was standing right there, so I'd be surprised if he missed that call. To review the play, the ruling on the field stands. The ruling on the field will stand. He caught it. The only thing left to say about this play is that was an excellent catch. Here's play number 10 on the drive. the middle he's at the 20 the ball carrier. Gain of 12 yards first down met in the backfield. That took a little too long to develop. Yeah, the offense was trying to get the pass rush going upfield, but the defense did a nice job of sniffing out the draw play and hitting them in the backfield. Right. 
So check. it's second and 12. Ball on the 20. They make the stop at the 17. Grabs it and hammered right there. Church picks him up about three yards with a catch. That'll make it fourth and six. And once again, the coaches decided to go for it on fourth down. I think they had to go for it given the circumstances. They just couldn't pull it off. A conversion there could have really helped them, but it just wasn't to be. The offense is on its way out on the field again, and they haven't had any problem finding the end zone in their past couple of drives. Gains his way to the 23-yard line. That'll make it second in inches. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Just under three to go in regulation. He gets hit out of bounds around the 30-yard line. Nice run there by the tailback, and it's good for the first. He got seven, but it looked like for a second he could have broken it for even more. Good call. to the 40. Down the sideline to the 20. And they finally knock him out at the 17-yard line. Oh, and what a run that was. And here on the pitch out to the tailback, they were able to capitalize with the defense on their heels. Looking to capitalize on the big run. Now it's first and 10. After a decent run up the gut, Bailey comes away with five yards on the carry. We've got a second and five. Ball on the 12-yard line. Runs it left for a decent game. Just over a minute left. He's going to try and scramble. And he's going to run this one in. Touchdown. Central Michigan staff is so lucky they got a multi-dimensional quarterback. Nothing is more dangerous to a defense than dealing with a quarterback that can run and throw. This time he uses his feet to get into the end zone for a crucial touchdown in this game. And he hits the PAT. Here's an update from the studio and restate. Let's take a look at what's going on in Toledo. And for Toledo, they've now dumped four in a row. Central Michigan ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. 
And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, late in the fourth quarter, this game has been over for a long time, and now we just want to get out of here like these two teams do. Taken down around the 34-yard line. Akron will take their first time out of the half. That brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Got a man. Watch out here. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 49. That's a gain of 17 on the play. First down. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. Simmons breaks it up. That makes it second and ten. From the 49-yard line, it's second down. We have less than a minute to go. Completes it, and he's hit hard immediately. The Zips are going to call their second timeout. Stop made there late in the fourth quarter, but this game's been over almost since the beginning. And I think it's time for everybody to head to the locker room. Harris is hoping to boom this one down the field. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And for justice, putting up good numbers. Well, this is what these guys like to do. They love to establish a running game, control the clock, and then just dominate the time of possession. What he's putting on display is his versatility. I mean, we, we knew coming in about how he could pound the rock and run this football. Today, we're learning about how he can catch the ball out of the backfield. So the versatility, along with the soft hands and the natural athletic ability, has really separated him from the rest of the pack. tries to buy some time slings it tackle made around the 41 yard line central michigan's gonna have to use their second time out of the half he's on the run he's got to throw it in a hurry he's at the 30 steps out of bounds around the 29 yard line Michigan up by a big margin under heavy pressure caught with room to work he's tackled at the one yard line he stood in there that time against the blitz they were coming after him but he showed the poise and was able to connect for a big game Central Michigan's called their final timeout touchdown Chippewa He makes the PAT. Luke has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. It's a long, low kick. He gets out to about the 18-yard line. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. And it's incomplete.
Central Michigan staff just dancing on the sideline. Their star player came through for them, and they couldn't be happy. Well, the staff has to feel good. The entire team should feel good. And I know you and I just having a chance to sit back and, and watch this young man play. Uh, just an outstanding performance and something that this entire team will be able to build on. Thank <laughs> you. 